up YouTube Jeff from the Graph Life here. Boy, did it ever get cold. Uh, it went from about, I don't know, 75, 78, somewhere in there. Uh, wake up and it's 40. <laughs> I mean, I think now it's up to like 50. Um, but still, I mean, not, not used to that. Um, I'm really far behind with videos. This is my mail from today. I know I had mentioned I still have a fan pack, which I do. I'm going to do fan packs in their own video. Um, these are just going to be pickups today. Uh, but I'm, I have a giant mess all over the place here. Um, I'm just kind of show you around a little bit. I got, this is all stuff from breaks I just did that I have to put away. Uh, here's some more stuff that I'm going to break. There's a break that I never, I uh, actually did a re video for. I'm going to do a recap. And then I got stuff to put away on my bed, on the floor, uh, all over the place. I mean, that was probably a wobbly video, but whatever here's the mail uh, that I'm going to be showing today uh, just kind of small pickups uh, nothing big um, all of them are from eBay I believe um, I did peek in them to check and see if the one item I got from a previous uh, order came in because one of the items is missing uh, it's, I didn't get it yet so hopefully uh, sometime next week uh, I'm hoping uh, but Let's get into it now, show you what I got. Just a couple of smaller pickups. Um, this is from, this is from my Steelers collection. Uh, it's from 2017 Contenders Optic. Uh, it's a Joe Hayden. Wow, let me, let me take it out of this uh, team bag here. Maybe you'd be able to see a little better. Um, there it is. So it's a really nice card. Um, it is, uh, defensive play of the year contenders, and that's number 92 out of 99. So that's, I mean, I've never seen a, a Steelers card of Joe Hayden before, so I'm glad to add that, and it's numbered, so it's going to go into the Steelers collection. Uh, next up, I guess I'll do this one next. Uh, all these were, I think they were maybe like $3, $4 shipped, uh, nothing... Nothing too pricey, um, but, you know, everything, every little bit kind of counts towards the PC. Uh, next one here is from uh, 2018 Panini Spectra, and uh, I think this might truly be, just like I said with the Hayden, the only um, Steelers card that this guy has. Uh, obviously, he has, um, you know, different parallels, but I think this might be the only one. It's of Michael Vick. Uh, this is the green. It's uh, numbered 23 out of 30. So that's kind of what I'm, I want to do now with my, my Steelers and 76ers, Penguins, uh, Phillies, all my favorite teams. I just kind of want to do numbered uh, relics, patches, and uh, autographs for the most part. Um, but then the Phillies, I am going to do the tops thing, uh, which, Mike, oh, congratulations on that. I don't know if I ever told you. I watched your video. That that was truly amazing. Uh, you went above and beyond. I don't I don't have the SPs, which I'm thinking about adding now since I saw your video. Not to be a copycat or anything. Uh, and I didn't think of putting the Fanatic cards in there. I, I do have them, um, but I never thought to put them in there. Uh, so might be taking a page out of your book if that's okay. Uh, I know some people get offended. I I highly doubt that you will, but if you do, let me know. Um, and. Uh, I mean, if I do it, and just don't video it, but <laughs> I'm not that kind of guy. Uh, here's another pickup <clears throat> off of eBay, like I said. Uh, this one is for the 76ers collection. Uh, great pickup for them. I mean, when they signed him, I was like, oh, I don't know uh, how he will do, uh, if he'll fit in or not. But he wound up being an awesome pickup. Uh, that's uh, J.J. Redick. This is also from... Uh, 1718 Spectra, it's the green. And uh, look at that, Shane. This one is number nine out of 49. So I just kind of want to pick up some, some cool stuff uh, for those collections. This one, I forget what it is. And, and I, I pre-opened all of them to, like I said, to check if it was the one item I was looking for. Oh, okay. I remember now. So everybody was, um, you know, ripping all these boxes and packs and everything 
I kind of want to get in on the action, but I didn't have time to really go to the store. Um, so I picked up this uh, this value pack, a hanger pack, 16 cards of Topps Heritage High Numbers, 2018. I am uh, going to open this in another video, I think. I mean, unless you want me to open it now. I don't know. I'm not live right now, so I don't know if you guys want me to or not. I don't really feel like opening it. I feel like I'll open it another time. Uh, we'll see what happens. But uh, I haven't opened any of this product yet. Um, I did do... Uh, I did an archives. And, yeah, so I didn't do any heritage high number. So I have this now. I like to kind of open a little bit of everything. Uh, but at the same time, uh, keep that to a minimum to stay on my budget. Um, that's one thing, that's a tip I want to give to, to people just starting... Um, or people think like, wow, you know, this is an expensive hobby. It can be expensive. Um, but if you set a budget for yourself and you stick within that budget, it doesn't have to be. Um, and I know Silver Jackify, I'll shout you out. I know he says, if you have $100, don't buy $100 worth of packs. You'll be disappointed. Um, it depends what kind of collector you are. I mean, if you're trying to get the best cards, then yeah, you'll be disappointed. I mean, you're not going to get a hundred dollars worth of the best cards buying a hundred dollars worth of packs or boxes or blasters or, or you know um you're gonna have to go the singles route you know buy spend the hundred dollars on a hundred dollar card you know a card that's gonna hold its value a card that's um you know worth a hundred bucks you never know what you get in a pack could you get something that's worth a hundred bucks definitely um but you're not guaranteed that um but what I do is I like to always have stuff to trade, stuff to give away, stuff to sell. And there's always the chance I'm going to get something for my collection. So I have a budget for that and then a budget for, hey, this stuff's for my collection or this is a, a really nice card. I need to buy it. Um, and if I spend less towards packs, I throw it into my collection or vice versa. I always have a set number that I want to spend Um Per year and obviously you know if I work overtime or um, stuff's on sale I'll go a little bit over sometimes but I, I generally stick to it um, and that's my trick to it I mean I, I like to go the the singles route I mean that's why I have so many mail days uh, you know picking up just you know one card here one card there um, but I also don't have like a set goal for my favorite teams it's just like if I like it I'm gonna pick it up um, it'd be nice to be able to get everything, but it's just not possible. And I like to always have that, I don't know, the joy of opening a pack, of not knowing what's in there. Uh, the chance I can get something big. So I'll always try and buy some packs and boxes. Um, but I don't go overboard. I don't, if I don't get the card I'm looking for, I, um, will look up how much it costs and see if I can swing that, uh, in my budget. And if I can't, and I just, you know, I wait till the price drops or I wait till I save up for it, uh, set a goal for it myself. Um, it's just all in good fun. And that's what you got to do. You got to have fun with it. And, uh, wow, I think I'm over eight minutes now. So I'm going to end this video now. Hopefully that, those tips were uh, pretty helpful if you're just starting or maybe you're looking to go in a different direction. Um, but thanks for watching. And uh, I'm going to break this in another video. Uh, maybe not today, uh, but... Sometime in the future. Might record it today, maybe, and post it another day. Uh, but thanks for watching, and as always, like, comment, subscribe.